guys, what's up? It's Carl playing with Blankens Networking, and today we're going to be showing you guys how to set up home drives in Active Directory. So now, in my user profiles video, if you guys haven't seen that, I explained to you guys it's better to do this with separate drives on your computer, and the same goes for home drives. If, if you want to keep your files and have no chance of losing them, then I highly recommend you either have two separate drives, one with the files on it and one to back up those files, or you have those files backed up onto a cloud or a flash drive. However you want to do it's up to you, but I highly recommend you always make sure you have a backup of these files. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to come under our C drive and go to Shares. We're going to create a new folder and we're going to name this folder Home Drives. Then we're going to share this folder with our users. We're going to type in authentic, authenticated users. Whoops. We're going to give it read and write access, and we're going to share. We'll actually type in our direct user too, just to make sure that all of our bases are covered. And we'll give this user user read and write access. And we're going to come here and we're going to copy this UNC path. We're going to close this and we're done there. And then we're going to close this. We're going to go under Active Directory, Users and Computers. You can launch this from your Start menu and Administrative Tools. And it is the fifth one from the top. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go under John Doe. And right now this user is set to only log on to certain computers. I'm going to turn that off. You guys won't have to do that, but I have to do that because actually, you know, we'll use ER user. So we're going to go to properties, and we're going to go to profile. And then our home folder, we're going to select connect to a, a drive. You can assign any letter you want. We'll just do, we'll do P for Plinkins Networking. And then type in where you want the home drive, but we also need to make a subdirectory for this user. So we're going to type in our directory name. We're going to do er user 01. Actually, we'll just put er user. Didn't mean to click that. Whoops. Sorry about that, you guys. And then we're going to click apply and click OK. And then close this. Now we're going to go over to our client machine and we are going to log on to ER user. Okay, and now to see if this worked, in some cases there are a few issues with group policy with Windows 8. So if it did not work, which it did, all you have to do is run command prompt. So just type in the flag button and R, and type in CMD, and then type in GP update slash force. And this will force it. Whoops. And this will force it to upgrade the group policies. So that is all for today, you guys, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Thanks again, everybody, for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.